New Year's Eve, a time for reflection and perspective. I want to share a quick exercise with you today that could literally change your life, or at least the way you look at it. Check me out. I want you to do some simple math for me. Take the number 80 and subtract your current age. Now I want you to imagine that whatever number you get, that's how much money you have in your bank account right now. So if you're 25, you got 55 bucks in your bank. Now take a second to think about how much money that is or isn't, how long it would take you to spend that money. Now these might seem like some silly questions because I'm sure it didn't take you long to realize how small that number is. Well, that number represents how many New Year's Eve parties you have left in your life. How many Christmases, how many Thanksgivings, how many birthdays. And that number you got is based on the average life expectancy, which is about 79. So you have to at least make it that long for your number, whatever number you got, to be accurate. Whatever your number is, I think you would agree, it's not much considering the grand scheme of things. Before you know it, that number will be spent, metaphorically speaking. And that number represents a type of currency that you can never, ever earn more of. You're gifted that number, whatever your number is, by God or the universe, for you to spend however you choose. And if you think that small number is precious, here's the plot twist. That number you came up with? Well, that number is hypothetical and very misleading. Why? You know why. Because we actually have no idea how many more moments or days or years we have left. That age 79 thing, it's not promised for any of us. So in that case, each and every moment becomes that much more precious and valuable, being that it could, in all actuality, be your last. Time is free, but it's priceless. You can't own it, but you can use it. You can't keep it, but you can spend it. Once you've lost it, you can never get it back. Harvey McKay. Benjamin Franklin said, lost time is never found again. Now, the point of this exercise is not to scare you or make you fear death or worry about dying. It's actually not about death at all. It's to demonstrate that we only have so many moments in life and to encourage you to consciously live and experience fully those that you do have rather than take them for granted or spend them dwelling on the fact that we only have so many, which is ultimately the biggest waste of all. This exercise is about life and how to maximize your experience of it by facing reality, keeping things in perspective realistically. The opportunity to spend time is equal for all those who are blessed to have it at their disposal. How you spend it, however, is uniquely up to you. Each day we are spending a currency that we will never get back or be able to earn more of. And until we fully accept and appreciate that fact, we can't be completely grateful or respectful of this thing called life and the opportunity to experience it. New Year's Eve is a time for reflection and from reflecting on life, we can gain a new perspective of it. And from new perspective, we can learn things about ourselves and our lives that we've never known before. And those can ultimately help us grow. You know, the older I get, the more I realize that time is the most important thing in life. And that time is simply experienced in the form of emotion. So if you're spending any of your time in a negative state at all, ever, understand that you're wasting the most precious thing in life and something you'll never get back. Here's another thought though. No matter how you've spent your time up until this point, no matter what you've done with it, how you've spent it, none of that has to determine how you will spend it or experience it in the future. See, the idea of time being limited is scary for people, a lot of people, and they run from it. They run from that thought. And ultimately, they end up sabotaging their ability to maximize their experience of life each day because they fail to embrace the fact that it is limited, which ultimately results in them taking it for granted. But time is limited for all and every living thing. To deny death is to deny a factual part of life. Embracing the fact that time is limited, is priceless, and that each moment is precious can help serve you 
as a necessary reminder to live it to the fullest each and every day. Keep these thoughts in mind as you celebrate on the 31st this year and share this video with others to help them keep life in perspective as well. In the meantime, don't take another breath for granted. Focus on all of the things you have to be appreciative of and grateful for at this very moment in your life. I'll talk to you soon. Until next time, push the subscribe button for more videos like this from me and connect with me on social media at the Ryan David. Be safe, take care, and have a happy, blessed new year.